Cold Blood is a true crime novel describing the murder of the Clutter family by two men, Dick Hickok and Perry Smith. However, despite the fact that both committed the gruesome crime, Capote paints the two vastly different, and as a reader we find ourselves inclined to be more sympathetic towards Perry today. Throughout the novel, Capote provides us descriptions of Perry from several different perspectives. On page 125, Capote describes a letter Perry received from his father and states that despite the hundreds of times he's read it, he's never read it with indifference. The letter describes how Perry stopped school in third grade and how his mother was an alcoholic who abandoned him, which explains the sense of shame he feels when it comes to almost every aspect of his life, like his constant need to hide his legs. Additionally, we're provided the idea that Perry has a split in behavior. On the one hand, his father describes him as a good-hearted, and on the other hand, he describes as a buzzsaw. This supports the fact that he has poor impulse control explaining why he was able to murder all the clutters and allows us to be sympathetic towards him because although he did do a bad thing, his psychological and environmental history compel us to excuse it. This idea is further developed in Perry's own words on page 33, where he describes his own relationship with his father. He says, I loved that then, and further describes his experience with him. However, in the same section, we realize that Perry feels misunderstood and persecuted. His means of salvation are wrapped around the fantasy life. He describes how he used to like to draw, but never got any encouragement, making us feel pity towards him, and excusing his behavior to the fact that he never received love as a child. In the same section, we're given the real insight into Perry's behavior as we begin to understand Perry's aversion to religion. On page 132, he says it was not long after my mother put me to stay in Catholic orphanage, the one where the black widows were always hitting at me hitting me because of wetting the bed, which is one reason I have an aversion to nuns, and God, and religion. As a reader, Perry's neglect towards religion helps us reduce his monstrosity as a murderer, but at the same time it raises the question of whether forgiveness is possible, even if we understand the motives or lack thereof behind the murders. Finally, the letter from Perry's sister, Barbara, gives us more understanding to Perry's psyche. On page 138, Barbara begins with an apology saying, forgive me for not writing sooner, and then kills their father for the way he treated Perry. Additionally, she says that Perry can choose his actions, and that he has made bad choices, and that she wants him to repent to God, which explains his further aversion to religion. Overall, based on Capote's descriptions, we find ourselves not necessarily willing to forgive Perry, but are more understanding about the reasons for his actions. However, Dick is much harder to forgive, so our question for you is how does Capote describe Dick in comparison to Perry? <laughs> Widows were always hitting at me, hitting me. <laughs> <laughs> Gives us more understanding. Who did that?